You want hardcore mode? You think you want hardcore mode? Well, I hope you're ready because here it comes. This is hardcore mode. Yo, what's up, gang? Harrison here with both cats. I have so much to say about what has happened within the last 24 hours on TDS. I'm planning on making a video going over some of the general changes to the game, but the truth is, stuff's broke, bro. So I don't know what's a change, what's a bug, or what's just downright broken. One thing I do know is that I have a ton of content for you guys, so let's not waste any time. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil this video. We beat hardcore mode. <laughs> It is possible with the right team and the right strats. But that's not to say we didn't fail first. We tried twice before we won, and each time we failed, we changed our loadout and we changed our strat just a little bit. Because this is the kind of battle that you have to have a strat for. It's kind of like Hidden Wave in that way. You can't just use any towers, and you can't just play with any bacon hair. You have to recruit the best teammates you can find to take on the double Void Reavers. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. First thing you'll notice here is that we're already on wave 10. I'm really sorry about that. I got distracted and I forgot to start recording. So I'm going to tell you guys how we started. First, I'm going to tell you the loadouts that we used. I used Farm, Commander, Sniper, Outlaw, and Pursuit. Phoenix used the Farm, DJ, Gold, Minigunner, Rocketeer, and Military Base. And Eric used the Farm, Outlaw, Gold, Minigunner, Mortar, and Military Base. I know there's another strat going around that I've seen on Discord, and I'm going to put that on the screen right now. You can pause the video if you want to read it. One thing I will tell you about this strat is that I don't think two people need snipers because sniper is a weak tower. I think one is enough. And I don't think everyone needs to have military bases. But honestly, the best thing you guys can do is to try different loadouts to find the one that works best for you. Okay, so let me tell you what I did as soon as we started. Since I was the player with the sniper, I placed a sniper immediately and leveled it to level one. I think the other two players placed farms right away. And on the next round, Eric placed the military base. Military Military bases are super helpful for early game clearing zombies on the track. You can see on the right side of the map that Eric is basically putting down max military bases as his first towers, and then working on leveling those while farming. Phoenix basically focused on farming only until he puts down a gold minigunner at wave 11, and that's the only other tower on the field besides my snipers up to that point. I basically focused on placing snipers until wave 12, because that's when you have to fight the balloon zombies, and those killed us in the first game we played, so... I kind of held a grudge against them. But once we got past that, I was able to start farming and my teammates were able to start placing other towers. And to be honest, we kind of kicked butt. I had an awesome team going into this game. So let me give a shout out to Phoenix D1 and Eric the best. One, two, three, five. Now I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this game. Overall, it took us, I'd say, 45 or 50 minutes to win. So this is going to be a longer video, even with things being sped up. And since there are new bosses in this game mode, Whenever they show up, I want to slow the video down to real time so that you can check those out if you want. And I'm also going to comment on them and tell you what I think about them. Other than that, for the strategies, make sure that whoever has the commander places three of them and uses the call to arms ability as often as possible because that's actually super helpful. Go ahead, watch the rest of this video and see what we placed and when we placed it so that you can do what we did and beat this game mode and get that badge. I will see you guys back here at the end.
Fallen Titan is the first special enemy that I remember seeing. This dude is super cool looking and I love his ability. Taking that big old hammer, smashing it on the ground and stunning towers in a line that way, I think is a really cool addition to the game. remember slow king from john roblox's content reveal trailer these guys look just as cool as i thought they would this is a very nice addition to the game i like these enemies a lot
Here we have the first new boss of hardcore mode, the Soul Stealer. So these actually show up two or three at a time. They're not too difficult to defeat, and I really like how the boss health is a bar on the screen so I can see how close they are to dying. Here we have the Necromancer boss with his cute little skull mask on. I like every single enemy zombie that they put in the game with this update. Necromancer boss is really cool looking, and so is Fallen Swordmaster. And I love his attacking animation, his throwing swords. I didn't feel like these guys were too hard to beat, although Fallen Swordmaster did get pretty far down the path. And here's a new zombie that died so fast I didn't even see it coming. Unknown. And here's the Void Reavers. These are epically cool looking. Look at this. Two 600,000 health bosses that you have to kill to beat hardcore mode. I feel like everything up until this point was pretty easy, but these guys are tough. You gotta make sure that you're chaining your abilities, calling in reinforcements, doing everything you can do to stop these dudes. And the scariest thing is that when they get to half health, they take their face off and basically start to sprint towards your base. This was a crazy battle at the end. Overall, another really cool looking boss. And watch here in a minute, one of them does an attack that takes your HP down to one. It's wild.
Look how close he's getting. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of freaking out at this point because he starts walking so much faster. I really thought he was gonna get in with like 5k health and I would have been pissed. So this is another time when the military bases really come in clutch. And you can see how much damage they do to him just as he gets outside the range of most of the towers. Let's go! Hardcore mode beat. Hardcore badge earned. Only 448 people in the world have this and ya boy just became one one of them. If you guys want to find teammates to try and earn the hardcore badge, be sure to join my Discord at discord.gg slash just Harrison things. I can also give you advice or answer any questions you have about how to beat this mode. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button with your nose, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my awesome upcoming content. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next video, and never forget what I always say, peace.